Oh, mornings are bad enough just chasing after one of the little beggars. Yeah, well, I'm half tempted to sit in the cafe and leave them to it. I would. <laughs> Only 20 more years till they leave home, mate. If we're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-ra. Bye-bye. <laughs> trying to do? What are you thinking of, Amy? <sighs> kind of. I just made a note with no turnips. Oh. Did you want something? I left my list at home. Well, we're open all day. I know what it was. Get yourself a basket. Dinner with you tonight. <laughs> Bit keen, aren't you? I am, as it happens. Well, I've already planned a night in with some fish fingers just past the sell-by date. Well, I can hardly compete with that. <laughs> How's about you save them for breakfast? Would you promise to behave yourself? I can be the perfect gentleman, if I've no other choice. No. What do you mean, no? Not gonna happen. Alicia? Prior engagement. So I might see you later, then. Oh, no, Ashley! You what? could have you given the it? kids a bit of attention while I was gone. And where? No. I suppose it's too much to expect you keeping them under control. Gathering energy before the day's events. What, lying on the sofa? I have an appointment with the Earl of Mount Edgecombe. Steam train. Sweeping through the junction at about lunchtime. I'll join him when I've got these done. Oh, lovely. I'm really pleased for you. In the meantime, these are your children. That's Arthur, that's Gabby. This is your father. They need feeding, washing, dressing and getting to school. And I'm going to be late to my for eyes. morning a shift. Correspondence and the parish meeting about Slim. funding. Once Slim. you've done that, you've got the house yourself Ashley. for the rest of the day. Spend the entire afternoon in bed if yes, the fancy takes you. absolutely nothing better to do, have Swap I? Swap places in an instant. Now, if you don't mind, newly widowed. Yeah, well, be her. Heard that. You're definitely not going to be working tomorrow? No, because we've got the hospital appointment. I'll be there, don't worry. Sorry to interrupt, but I don't pay to hang around gossiping with your fan club. Actually, you're not paying me at all. He's not actually working for you today. Whose is this truck? Mine. Well, it should be halfway to Hull by now. You were due off an hour ago. Yeah, Edna had to reassign. Something came up. What? An urgent delivery for the Sharmas. That has to go through me. It ain't for you. Jay doesn't want your inflated rates anymore, so he's done a little deal with Cameron. I'm sorry. Yeah. You lost the job. You work for me. Yeah, maybe. Just not on the Sharma contract anymore. You think you can just go out and steal one of my clients? You've been giving me the dreg since I started. Yeah, and I was right to, wasn't I? That... You're so fired. Really? If you want any of the wages you're owed, sue me. That's me done. Stop for breakfast? No, I'll get back and unpack. See ya. Victoria! Hang on! So, when are you inviting us round, then? Um. I was just wondering if everything was OK. I'm fine. Arriving together. Got nothing to read into that. I'll just say goodbye to... So, the date went very well then. It wasn't a date, we're just friends. Right. I'll... Um, yesterday, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? No, nothing wrong at all. Good. So, who is it then? I'm sorry? Who are you holding out for? You've lost me. If we're going to be friends, we shouldn't keep secrets. There's no one. Right. Like, it's not obvious to everyone. Is it? You're still hung up on Rona. <sighs> Every relationship I've ever had has been a disaster, ending in heartache of car crash proportions. So from now on, I'm going to be dedicating my every waking minute to the love of my life, Leo. Oh, that don't count. Carrots! Hey. Uh, you haven't got an appointment. Or have you? I want to read it. How much is he charging? 
two. Getting shafted by him is no surprise, but you two, how much? I'll match it. We're not at liberty to say. You told him my rates, though, didn't you? He just came up with the price and knocked yours into the ground. That's because he's busking it on his own with no overheads. He'll mess up the first chance he gets. Yeah, well, we've got to give him a chance, haven't we? You get what you pay for, you know that? Our agreement was on a job-by-job -job basis. Jay, come on! I'll tell you what. If it don't work out, we'll give you a call, all right? Just a little picnic, you know. I was far too busy to think of the likes of me. Shall I do you a flask of tea? <clears throat> I'm well provided for on that oh. front. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat, won't we, love? Yes. Hey. You all right? Yeah. Uh, I heard Sarah's got to go to the hospital. Yeah, appointments tomorrow. You know, if there's out I can do. It's not your problem anymore, though, is it? Well, I was thinking maybe I could come over and see you later. Maybe. I wouldn't want to put you on. Why would it? Because we're not together anymore. Why would you bother? <sighs> no, you're right. I shouldn't be concerned about either of you anymore, should I? I'm sorry. I'm not having a great day. Oh, don't worry about it. She's gonna be fine. Need salt. How do I get to answer my phone at work? Well, that's because you're not the boss. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, you're right. It's uh, unprofessional to take calls when you're cooking. Oh, no idea. Obviously, Rona. Oh, yeah, you're so perceptive. Except it isn't. Who is it then? Well, you'll never know. I can't see why you won't talk about it with me. <sighs> because there's nothing to tell. Listen, I know why you think it might be Rona because of our unusual family setup. <laughs> there's nothing you can tell me about them. But I'm not involved with anyone. That's the honest truth. Right. I know when to back off. You're involved with absolutely no one. Well, yeah, she's great. I think she's getting a bit of a buzz out of it, to be honest. If she gets in any trouble over this... Oh, it's all right. It's all in hand. Don't say a word. I'll see you later, yeah? Alex! He's in a hurry. Yeah, he's running late. I'm just keen on seeing me as Victoria was. Really? Is there something going on I should know about? No idea. Do you think she did the right thing, moving into yours with him? Well, she's old enough to make her own mind up, I suppose. I'm going to go around. What, to mine? Yes, is there a problem? Well, you won't find her there. Has she gone out? That's not where they're staying. What do you mean? They're at Brook. What they doing there? Well, they've kind of moved in. They're squaring. Hi, you've reached Marlon, um, so leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hi, it's Laurel. Uh, I know you're busy, but I just wanted to say that I don't think I can make it after all today. I'm sorry. So that's it. I'll see you around. Bye. Everything all right, Laurel? Fine. Everything's absolutely fine. Hi, it's Laurel. Um, I know you're busy, but uh, I just wanted to say that I don't think I can make it today after all. Uh, that's it. Sorry. I'll see you around. Bye. Marlon! Oh, hi. Just the man I'm looking for. Why? I have to thank you. Right. Due to your sterling efforts with Laurel. What? The Kids Club. Oh. With a council grant to lend some more community events. Thank you so much. Laurel! Laurel, come here! Come here! We got the grant! 
For the village hall. That's great. Yeah. I best get back to work. How's the book coming along? Um, okay. I'm, I need to get it finished, actually. Well, Laurel's got the rest of the day off. Why didn't she help you? Oh, you get it done in half the time. I'd love to be there, but I'm out all afternoon with Dad, some steam trainer or other. So I'll leave you to have fun. Pop round any time. Thank you ever so much. You're on your own. I'll give you three seconds. Right, come in quick. Oh, Victoria, hurry up. What the hell's going on? You've done nothing wrong. It was his choice. So we can hardly be upset about something that you get up to when he finished it. I don't even think he notices. Oh, but well, that's men for you. They don't see anything until it's waved in front of their noses. Give him mixed signals. I just thought he might want to try again. Well, it sounds like he's made it fairly plain. I suppose. But breakups hurt. And moving on's even harder when you never want it to happen in the first place. Yeah. So, you know what you should do is pick yourself up, stop letting him upset you, and move on with the next part of your life. Do you know what? I actually think you might be right. Oh. It's a change. And you know what? You're young and you're gorgeous. And you should be enjoying every minute. Why didn't you tell me? Because you'd have never let us leave the house. Damn right I wouldn't. Open up, Alex. Guess who it is? Please. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Open it. He wants to evict us. He's got every right. It's his house. Alex! We're claiming squatters' rights. Oh, for heaven's sake. You know I'm going to get you out, so why don't we do this the easy way? Look, it's down to you, this. You cost me my job, so I can't afford to pay rent anymore. No, mate, what you can't afford is to take me on. So why don't you open the door while I'm asking you nicely? Get stuff, will ya? You? You've had your chance. You and all? Just for something. Right, well, thank you. I'll sort it. It's all right, I got it. Believe me, if this carries on, you'll be the least of their worries. Hey. When are you coming home? Well, it's that time already. I was really going to do something quite special tonight, a lovely meal. <laughs> yeah, right. Now we're going to have to make do with the pub. What's wrong with pizza? Again. I was hoping to put you in a very good mood so that we could have a very serious chat. Yeah, about what? Right, well, you know how we're engaged? Uh, no, I'd forgotten. Well, the usual idea is that when you're engaged, you actually, eventually, get married. But not in your case. <laughs> well, clearly fate is saving me for you, yeah? I see. But we can't get married unless we set a date. And now your mum's happy, what's stopping us? OK, uh, so I take it that you've got one in mind? Yes, I have. December. Next year? This one. Couldn't possibly organise it. Yeah, we it. can. We can have a small one. Just close friends, people we like. Nikhil. Wedding dates. All right, well, let's put the family on alert then, haven't we? No, well, we might just have a small intimate do, thanks. Yeah, I don't see Mum going for that. It's not her wedding, is it? Yeah, but... December it is, then. <gasps> Did you hear that? Come on, you're taking me for a drink. December. Hi. Hi. Mind if I come in? Am I going mad or did you shoot me down in flames this morning? That was this morning. I'm going out. I've got plans. Right. So your decision is, do you stick with those plans or spend the evening in with me? Hey. Actually, not back yet. No, not yet. 
left it long enough, he might be. Well, they're making an evening of it, having a pub tea somewhere, so... Nice. So... I wasn't sure if I should come, and then I thought it might look weird if I didn't. Right. Should we get down... Uh, should, we, should we get... You know, have a look at the pictures that you've taken so far? That would be so far, brilliant, yeah. but, um... What, is there a problem? I haven't actually taken any yet. Ah. Yeah. I bought this, um... I think I could take some great shots. And I read the manual and everything, but, uh, I still... I haven't got a clue how it works. <laughs> you are a fool. <laughs> I, it cost me a fortune. Mm. Well, look, I don't know about you, but I... I fancy a glass of wine. Wouldn't say no. Make yourself at home. How did it go? Yeah, really good. Right, well, anybody that rips Carl off deserves a drink. Uh, I have been looking forward to this for the last 70 miles. How much did you make? Not a lot, but that's not the point. What? You brought that truck over to make money if you're not even doing that? I'm just starting. Cameron, it's your only source of income. If you can earn more working for Carl, it's been a complete waste of time, hasn't it? Right. Maybe we should talk about this after we've been at the hospital. Oh. Why? You think suddenly everything's going to be all right? They've made some massive mistake and there's nothing wrong with her? No, I think that no matter what happens, Sarah needs us to stay on the same side, keeping each other strong. <sighs> yeah, sorry. All right, it's all right. You're not an easy woman to read, you know. Be a bit boring if I was, wouldn't it? <sighs> I don't know. I like to know where I stand. Any clearer? <sighs> a bit. We can open another bottle and take it upstairs. Merlot any good for you? Alicia? <laughs> Absolutely not. She terrifies the life out of me. Oh, that's a shame. Why is that? Well, if you and Rachel got together, then... It would make things between me and you a lot easier. Your message, what made you change your mind? Knowing that Ashley wouldn't last five minutes without me and this would be wrong. Marlon, I do have feelings for you. I know. But it's just a fantasy. You know, this is real. The house. Marriage. Getting the kids out in the morning. Yeah. You see, when I see you, I forget all about that. Me too. But it just can't happen. I mean, however much I, I want go. it to. You, you do understand? I do. Uh, you feel the same? Uh, oh, I feel... It can't really go anywhere, can it? Because you're married. And because Ashley's just about the most decent bloke I could ever imagine, so... We're just gonna have to be friends. Yeah. It's probably best. Good. Oh. 
That wasn't that hard. I should get back to work. Really? Everything's okay between us now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh dear, will Laurel and Marlon do the right thing or will their forbidden feelings take over? Get the inside scoop from actress Charlotte Bellamy in an interview at itv.com slash Emmerdale. It's the last in the series of Missing Millions at Eight, right after Mayday Mayday, which is next. <laughs>